guys, Cassie here. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. It's not a workout video, it's not a cooking video. It's going to be an advice column. So on my blog, if you guys read that, I have a column that I do every week called Dear Cassie, kind of like a Dear Abby, where I answer your questions on health and fitness. Because a lot of us go through a lot of the same things when we're on this journey, it's nice to feel less alone when you can hear that other people are in your shoes too. And so I've been taking questions anonymously and answering them. And it's been so cool to see so many other popsters chime in and give their advice on the problem as well. So today is the first video version of the Dear Cassie advice column. And if you have any questions, you guys can leave them in the comments and I will pick one to answer for the next Dear Cassie video. So let's get right into it. So here is the question for today. Dear Cassie, I'm hoping for some advice or maybe some feedback to help me with understanding my current situation and motivation. I'm overweight and I always have been. I'm unhappy with how I look and I hate taking pictures because I totally let myself go, worse than I already was. I'm at my heaviest and I know I need to do something about it, but for some reason, I don't have motivation. I go to the gym and stop workouts early. I start workout videos and sit on my butt instead of doing the moves. I binge eat even though I know how bad it is for me. If I'm so unhappy, why am I not more driven to do something about it? Where can I find some motivation? Right now, I'm just finding all of the motivational accounts I follow unmotivating and disheartening because I see others doing it and putting in the effort and I'm just not. What's wrong with me? Sincerely, unhappy and unmotivated. Okay, there is a lot to unpack here, but let me just tell you, I've been through this too. And that's why I really like answering the questions in the advice column because my advice is coming from a personal place, from my own personal journey. So I hope what I tell you can help you. And any of you guys who have advice too or have gone through something similar, please put them in the comments because I think we can really help out unhappy and unmotivated. Okay, let's take this line by line because there's a lot. I'm unhappy with how I look and I hate taking pictures because I totally let myself go. First of all, if you don't like taking pictures, you don't have to take pictures, okay? Simple as that. But the bigger underlying issue is that you don't like the way that you look. And that makes me really sad because I know how it felt to feel like that. When you walk past a mirror or reflection in a window and you look at yourself and you're just like, I'm not at my best. I totally get that. And it's okay to not be in love with your body every day. But the thing is you have to accept your body every day. You have to understand that your body does so much for you and you can't just value it based on the way that you look because that's really unfair. You have to go inside and realize what you're good at, what your talents are, what your skills are, and focus on those things and take the focus away from the vanity of how your body looks. I'm at my heaviest and I know I need to do something about it, but for some reason I don't have motivation. I go to the gym and stop my workouts early. I start videos and sit in my butt instead of doing the moves. So I remember back when I did my bikini competition and that I was like so all in for that. And then after it was done, I was so tired that I didn't even want to go in the gym. Like to be completely honest, there were times when I drove to the gym and I sat in the car and then I called my then boyfriend Sam and just would talk to him for 30 minutes and I would try to delay me going into the gym. I don't know why I even tried going to the gym as if it was like some type of punishment or something, but I also felt like I need to do it. And that's when you really need to reevaluate your why. If you are that unmotivated to go to the gym or to work out, then maybe your reason for working out just isn't strong enough, or maybe it's really confusing and unclear. Are you working out for someone else? You're trying to impress someone else. Is society making you feel like you have to be smaller? You have to weigh a certain amount. If that is the case, that's never going to motivate you. You have to want to work out for you. And for me, what really motivates me is understanding that working out makes me feel really good. Like after I put in a session in the morning, I'm just like super upbeat, I'm energetic, and I love the feeling so much that it keeps me coming back the next day for that feeling. And of course, the physical benefits are cool too, but if you just focus it on the physical, it's never gonna be long lasting. So I encourage you to go find your why and whatever it is, write it down and really stick to it. It's gotta be so strong so that when you wanna give up, you're gonna go back to that why and it's gonna help push you through. 
All right, the eating part. I binge eat even though I know how bad it is for me. If I'm so unhappy, why am I not driven to do something about it? Okay, so binge eating. I have also been there. There are times when I would go into the pantry and just stuff my face with cereal or chips in the dark because I didn't want anyone to see me and just keep eating. And you know why I did that? It's because I felt like I was in food jail. I was restricting so much that I felt like I was a bad person if I ate bad food. And that relationship with food, letting it control your self-worth is such an unhealthy relationship, an unhealthy cycle that you need to break. And for me anyway, that's why I was binge eating because I wasn't allowing myself to eat the things that brought me joy. So if you wanna stop binge eating, in my opinion, what I did is that I would just let myself eat whatever until I normalized what my body needed. And then once you get that out of your system, okay, and just have fun while you do it, like don't even feel guilty, then begin to understand what foods make you feel good. And again, just like with the working out, the feeling good is what's gonna keep you coming back. And so for me, after doing my 90 day journey, I realized that when I eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, lean protein, and I enjoy cooking it, it's fun, it makes me feel good, it makes me look good, and it keeps me wanting to continue that cycle because I like how I feel so much. And I totally am a desserts person, so it's not like I'm eating only clean foods because that's totally not sustainable. I am not afraid to eat dessert because I know that it brings me joy. And that's the thing, food serves so many different purposes. You just have to make sure that the choices that you make is serving your purpose. So I hope that helps with the binge eating. Where can I find motivation? Right now, I'm just finding all the motivational accounts I follow unmotivating and disheartening because I see others doing it and putting in the effort and I'm just not. Okay, I totally feel you on this one because I remember that when I was at a low point in my fitness journey where I didn't like working out, I didn't care to eat healthy because my body wouldn't even change and I didn't feel good in my skin, that when I followed really motivational accounts, they were just like, too motivational because I just wasn't on that level yet. It is totally okay to unfollow those accounts. Sometimes, to be completely honest, when you see someone crushing their goals and you're just not there yet, you kind of get a little jealous and you know, that's okay. So to avoid feeling bad about yourself and to avoid comparing your journey to someone else's journey, unfollow them. Like seriously, you can find your motivation in different ways and it doesn't have to be through following accounts that are super motivational because they really aren't when you're just not ready for it. You just have to realize that. What's wrong with me? Unhappy and unmotivated, there is nothing wrong with you. All the things that you're going through are totally normal and what you need is space. To breathe, to experiment, to try different things. And that's why I went on my 90 day journey because I needed to figure out what worked for me. So I suggest you unfollow those accounts that don't motivate you. Eat the foods that make you happy. Learn how to cook food that makes you feel good or order Postmates of food that makes you feel good, but that's gonna be different for every person. So figure out what that is, that's really fun. And in terms of workouts, find something that is fun for you, that you wake up and get excited to do. It should feel like a hobby, right? Like maybe it's dancing, maybe it's run, well, no, it's not running. Is it really running for anyone? Well, actually, I kind of like running now. Um, but maybe it's, it's yoga or it's Pilates or it's something. Just try a bunch of different things because one of them is gonna stick with you, it's gonna be your jam, and then once you get into that groove and figure out what food works for you, what workouts work for you, uh, what accounts really motivate you, you're gonna be golden. So, unhappy and unmotivated, I hope that advice helps and so that you can become happy and motivated, just give yourself time, okay? You've got this. So you guys, if you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I will be picking one to answer in my next Dear Cassie. And if you have any advice for unhappy and unmotivated, go ahead and help her out in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Bye.